About a month ago in Rome, over 200 Catholic bishops from around the world met to talk about the importance of the Word of God for the life and mission of the Church. In an expression of unity and a desire for greater unity, the Orthodox Patriarch of Constantinople, Bartholomew I, was invited to address the bishops. Hello, this is Father Kubicki of the Apostleship of Prayer, and I thought of this event in light of St. Josephat, whom we honor today. St. Josephat was an Eastern, not a Roman Catholic, and he died as a martyr for unity. He died trying to bring together the Orthodox and the Catholics. And so it's a sign of hope that the leader of the Orthodox churches should address the Synod of Catholic bishops. Patriarch Bartholomew thanked Pope Benedict, saying, this gracious invitation of your holiness is a gesture full of meaning and significance, we dare say an historic event in itself, for it is the first time in history that an ecumenical patriarch is offered the opportunity to address a synod of the bishops of the Roman Catholic Church and thus be part of the life of this sister church at such a high level. We regard this as a manifestation of the work of the Holy Spirit leading our churches to a closer and deeper relationship with each other, an important step towards the restoration of our full communion. And then he went on to say that the work of evangelization depends upon unity. Quote, the duty of evangelization would have been, of course, greatly enhanced and strengthened if all Christians were in a position to perform it with one voice and as a fully united church. In his prayer to the Father, a little before his passion, our Lord has made it clear that the unity of the church is unbreakably related with her mission so that the world may believe, end quote. And so let's pray. Father, may we be one as you are one with the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For more information, visit our website at www.apostleshipofprayer.org.